I feel very honored to have received an honorary doctorate of Uppsala University. However, it's not just a reward for me, it's for the entire team that's working daily on improving uh, things for the professionals concerned with the cochlear implant and the users. Well, since we hired our first employees in 1990, science has always been at the heart of uh, the company. And uh, translational science is what it's all about. Uh, you need translational science from the basic research inquiry to reimbursement of devices and a lot in between. Yes, it allows us an uncompromising way to find the best solutions and only our uh, users and the scientific partners and the clinical partners can be in our focus. Well, actually a lot has changed. We've come a long way from the early days where speech understanding only was in the focus. So now it's understanding in background noise, in difficult listening situations, it's enjoying music, and uh, understanding tonal languages, it's better ease of use for the recipients and also for the professionals who have to deal with these therapies and these, uh, these devices. Um, but there is still a lot to do because uh, in the entire world, there are still many, many children born deaf who do not receive uh, this uh, therapy before the age of five. And there are lots of adults and older adults who have not received these devices because maybe they don't have access to them. Oh, in the early days, I think Sweden started in the 80s, maybe in 1984, with uh, the first patients coming to Vienna even, uh, together with Jöran Bradberg. And then there was a consensus uh, conference, something like that, where Sweden asked uh, researchers in the field on how to start and after that they established a well thought through cochlear implant program. Uh, Joran Bradberg also invented a, an electrode for ossified cochleas and later on Eva Karlthorpe at Karolinska uh, was a pioneer with uh, very young children and with bilateral implantation in these children. And in Uppsala, uh, Helge Rask Andersen uh, did a lot of great research in terms of a uh, variety of individual cochleas in terms of shape and size and cochlear duct length and uh, immunohistochemistry of the inner ear. Uh, microanatomy, looking into the detailed structures inside the inner ear and uh, researching on how not to harm these structures and working on uh, the combination of electrical and acoustical stimulation with higher degrees of hearing preservation and structure preservation. Curiosity is as important as creativity, in my opinion. And uh, to work in biomedical engineering to find solutions with technology to challenges uh, in quality of life for people is really the most interesting I could imagine. <music>